Hello there! What I've got for you today is a Be Quiet System Power 9. It's a basic cheap power supply. It's 80 plus bronze, which by modern standards, a little bit low, but it's a cheap unit. What do you expect? I bought this for a low end build that I'm going to be eBaying to get rid of some parts. So let's unbox it. Let's see what we've got. So it's, it's quite a heavy box, by the way. It's about two and a half kilograms. So it's got some gravity to it. So we have a user's manual in there. Always nice to have. And then we just open that cardboard up and there's the unit. So that's our power cable. That's a European power cable, actually. Um, and that is a British power cable with the mighty British plug. And then it's a bit weird. I don't know. I guess I noticed the seal was a bit off as well. So I wonder if it's an open box unit, if someone else changed their mind and returned it. But there you are, whatever. Um, so yes, the power supply itself still in its bubble wrap. Oh, we have a we have some snacks. Um, screws. That's always nice. Um, we've got four screws for mounting the power supply with. And there's all our cables. It's all fully wired. They're all wired into the power supply. No modular cables here. It's a cheap unit. Modular cables are more expensive. You have to have a whole like daughter board thing on the back of the power supply for them to plug into and everything. Right, so we've got that untied. Let's have a look at what the cables are. So we have our 20 pin um, and the other four pins. It must be getting on for about two decades since we've had motherboards that only took the 20 pin. But I guess if you've got a really old system, the power supply's died, you just want to replace the power supply, uh, this is perfect for you. So a 20 plus 4 pin connector there. I can see that being a little annoying to install because it doesn't clip on. So once it's in, it will stay in. But that's going to be a bit annoying to kind of try and plug that in because you'll have to grow a third arm to hold that in place. Uh, might be all right. Um, so that's that. Um, what else have we got? Let's try and separate off our CPU power connectors next, shall we? So where are they? It's all a little tangled. Yes, CPU power. 4 plus 4 pin, um, much the same. So these don't clip together at all. They make no attempt to clip together, um, but they have their own clips, so you, I should be all right. You can just sort of latch one side and then the other. Just make sure that you've got them both latched because there isn't a mechanism to detect if they're not properly latched. So um, what might happen instead is just things don't work as well as they should. Um, although, I mean, it's a 400 watt power supply. You're not necessarily really going to need more than a four pin anyway. So as long as one side's latched, it's probably fine. I shouldn't say. Make sure that it's fully seated. Don't like run it unseated just for fun. That's a bad idea. Let's find our GPU power cable next. Oh my, okay. So we have a daisy chain with two 6 plus 2 pin connectors on it. All right. Um, so again, we have the same thing where it doesn't actually clip on as such. So it's potentially a little, um, little irritating to get in, especially once you've used the power supply, if you've sort of bent this back because you only need the 6 pin and the, eight, the other two would get in the way, and then you have to install something else and then it's not staying on little irritating um but yeah so the thing with these connectors right a six pin is a promise from the power supply that it can deliver 75 watts on that six pin right it doesn't need all six pins to do that but just having that connector means the psu is saying i can do 75 watts right on this connector which is why you only need to add another two pins to make it an eight pin that can do 150 watts right it's not like you know, one third more pins doubles the amount of current that it can hand, it can carry. It's that the eight pin is the PSU saying, I promise I can do 150 watts on this connector, plug it in, it will work. Having two eight pins means that the power supply is promising it can do 300 watts just on these. And given it's a 400 watt unit, I find that a little optimistic, to be honest. I mean, I've not tested it, but I'm just just as a first impressions thing, I just want to get it out there. 
I would have preferred to see maybe an 8 plus 6 pin. It, it's a bit annoying though because the other problem is a lot of modern graphics cards will just have two 8 pins even when they really, it's a 300 watt card or something, um, or less than 300 watts and it only needs the 8 plus 6. Um, but that's the other problem, right, is that generally a graphics card is expecting to draw up to 75 watts through the motherboard. So if you've got both of these and the motherboard, that's effectively 375 watts that you're hoping to give the graphics card. And that leaves you, what, 25 watts for your CPU? I, uh, I don't like that. I, I think it's, it's overrating itself. I think that it's, it's over-promising here, to be honest. Anyway, what else have we got? We have some SATA. We have three, oh no, not three SATA, sorry. We've got two SATA and then we've got one, uh, what's called a Molex connector on the end. It's technically Molex make connectors. They make lots of connectors. It's entirely possible that this was made by Molex, but everybody calls these Molex connectors, so they're Molex connectors. Um, but yeah, and there's two SATA on that chain and then what have we got here then we've got one two three sata and one more melex all right so you can see how if you've got an old computer again that you're fitting this to then you've got maybe one chain for your dvd drive and then this might be one chain for like an old id hard drive it, it would work um so it's probably quite good for that um less so if you've got a really old graphics card that needs molex but maybe maybe you could do the opposite of those really dodgy adapters and you could actually get a PCIe to Molex rather than the other way around. Um, but yeah, so I suppose I should actually take the bubble wrap off and let's see the unit itself. So we have fairly basic looking fan. We've got some peel on the logo there. Um, you know what? I'm going to force myself to do editing. I'll edit in doing the peel from a different angle. Um, but yeah, so it looks like 120 mil fan. Got our ratings on the side there. Um, okay, so that's interesting. So it's dual rail, which is good. But the thing is that it's 22 amps on one rail and 18 on the other. So presumably the graphics card power connectors are one of those rails. So if they're the 22 amp rail, then that's what? 264 watts? Mm. Yeah, okay, no. So that's 264 watts on one rail. Whereas the graphics card connectors, as I was saying, they're promising 300 watts, effectively. So that's not good. I don't like that. Um, because actually, it, I, hopefully the protections work and it would actually just trigger overcurrent protection if you tried to use it like that. But not a fan. Not pleased with that. Um, not good design. These connectors are designed like this for a reason. Um, but it is good that it's dual rail because it means that if there's a short circuit it's going to detect it more easily and shut itself down safely. So that's a good thing. Um, and yeah, got your usual honeycomb hex over the output. We can see there's some heat sinks inside there. Um, we can just about see there's some what looks like power factor correction circuitry in there. Uh, I'm not going to do a teardown though. This is an unboxing and it's out the box now. So yeah, that is the System Power 9 400 watts. Mixed feelings. I'm, I'm, this is a trap for inexperienced builders. People are going to go, oh, it's got all the connectors that I need so I can plug it into this graphics card and then it's not going to work. I don't like that. With that said, um, thank you for watching. It, it, I will say, it's. I'm sure it's a perfectly good unit, right? This doesn't mean it's a low quality unit. It doesn't mean that it's going to blow up. It doesn't mean it's going to like fail to power things that are within the actual power it's rated for. Just to make that clear. And with that said, thank you for watching. Uh, if, if you were watching this, I mean, I just sort of record these for my own satisfaction, really. But if you're watching, I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope that you got what you were looking for out of it. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. Uh, cheers and goodbye.